Hi, I'm Mike Gustinak. I work for CBS in Minnesota, and I'm also a board member for the Board for Private Sector Meteorologists. Uh, we are made up of other meteorologists from within the private sector that are working to sort of network everybody together. We're talking about people who are in the energy sector forecasting, uh, private forecasters working for aviation companies or commodities companies, snow and ski resorts. It's everybody who's not working in the government. And uh, we've got a bunch of different initiatives all sort of revolving, as I mentioned, around networking within our community. The most recent networking event is actually a, a happy hour that we had in Chicago, and we hope to expand those uh, every now and again, several times a year to other cities around the US. We're thinking about Houston and New York City in the next few years, but we need donations to make them happen. So if you know anybody with deep pockets and connections to the industry that might want to support something like that, uh, get in touch with us and we'll tell you how to do that coming up before this video is done. We also do outreach uh, always at the AMS annual conference. We are at the student career fair and this year in New Orleans, we also did a resume writing seminar for the students that were there. We also hold webinars semi annually. The most recent one that's coming up later in the summer of 2016 is called atmospheric sciences and the power of social media. We've also done webinars in the past uh, for those who are looking to make a transition in the middle of their career to some other branch of private sector meteorology. And we've done one for students coming out of college looking for that first job. Our main uh, initiative though every year is always the mentorship program. That's been going on for about the past eight years or so and it tends to connect upperclassmen, juniors and seniors with meteorologists working within the field in an area of those students interest. We always make matches by the end of November and that gives December and the next year that follows that entire time for these mentors and mentees to communicate. We hope on at least a monthly basis, and we also hope that that relationship between mentor and mentee extends beyond that one year commitment, maybe for the rest of their career or lives. Uh, benefits beyond an internship include the fact that you don't need to be in the same city. Of course, with all the wonderful technology we have these days, FaceTime and Chat sessions are certainly as uh, useful as meeting face to face, but we do try to hook up mentors and mentees in the same general area. Networking and hopefully some job recommendations, and we have had some success with some mentees getting jobs recommended by mentors in the past, and sort of ongoing career advice beyond just the day to day, here's how to do this job. Is this a good contract? How do I answer salary questions from prospective employers? Things like that. We're also thinking of expanding that program beyond students into early career professionals, the kids that are getting out of college and have maybe a year or two experience under their belt, connecting them with people who have been in the business for much longer. If you want to get involved, please connect with us on Facebook or on Twitter. Just search board for private sector meteorologists, or you can email us BP, sorry, AMSBPSM at gmail.com.